UH is waiving a hefty breakup fee that Todd Graham had agreed to pay if he quit the program. Gina Mangieri is always investigating and reports on this and other financial implications from his departure. Contract has some big ticket payoffs outlined if either side breaks it off without cause. Graham is resigning without having to pony up. UH announced last week Todd Graham is leaving on his own in the wake of player mistreatment allegations. It was a bit of relief for those worried about the implications and costs of keeping him on or trying to terminate him if there was cause. That was a huge relief off the, I mean, it takes a lot off the plate for. UH athletics as well as for lawmakers and as well as for the public. This could have been a very long and tumultuous three years if he wanted to execute his contract to the very end. Always Investigating reviewed Graham's contract signed in 2020. Cutting ties without cause could have cost the university more than $400,000 per year for about three years left on the deal or an unknown sum in legal fees or settlements if any disagreement arose over any for-cause firing. But this coach chose to leave on his own. There was a clause for that, too. Graham was on the hook to pay UH one million bucks if he quit in 2021, or $800,000 for quitting this year. UH tells me the university administration waived the coach's obligation. The Regents has to have a hearing. I'm not sure of the circumstances that led to his, his direct resignation um, and what led the university to forgive that 800000 or or what led him to forgive collecting uh, his $1.2 million. UH may be able to make up for the foregone breakup fee if there's an upside for fundraising. Athletic fundraising was doing pretty well before the coaching controversy broke out, expanding Ching Field as a stadium replacement in record time, notching UH Foundation donations way up in the middle of a pandemic, and bringing in money in sponsorships like the Simplify Arena. I asked UH, had the Coach Graham dissent registered yet on donation trends? Their spokesman said, I have not heard about any fundraising issues. The situation with the football program became public in December. There may have been an impact at some point down the road. We will never know now that the coach has resigned. I think if he were to have been around for another three years, he would have killed sponsorship and ticket sales for the entire football program. I thought I think he was that volatile and that much of a lightning rod of controversy that people would have just stayed away. People like players were going away. A mass exodus jumped into the transfer portal. Add to that an uphill battle for recruitment amid any coaching controversy, not having a stadium, and new transfer rules making it easier to switch jerseys without sitting out a year. If they were leaving because of higher aspirations, that's one thing. But it's evident that they were leaving because they were leaving for uh, reasons that were just, just toxic here in Hawaii. The stadium didn't have, a, have much to do with the exodus of people here. I do think the stadium is hurting on recruiting of future warriors. Recruiting for the future will fall squarely on the shoulders of whoever takes Graham's place. UH's pay scale is bottom of the barrel compared not just to the top conferences, but even within our own. Either take a chance on the keiki or the kupuna because the person who's in the middle stage of their career and really growing whatever football program is probably not going to ever land up in Hawaii. We'll have to always take a chance on young up and coming coaches and then when they see success are going to leave just exactly like Rolo did. I think June Jones was one of the best hires that the university ever made. Todd Graham in that uh, AARP group might have been one of the worst decisions. Gina Mangieri, KH12 News, always investigating.